Hi, and welcome to week 23 of Moo Reviews. This past week, I saw two new films, the first being 1988's My Neighbor Totoro. When two girls move to their country to be near their ailing mother, they have adventures with the wondrous forest spirits who live nearby. Rated G with a runtime of one hour and 26 minutes. Now, this is my second Japanese animated film written slash directed by Hayao Miyazaki that I've seen, and I have to say, I'm enjoying them. I really like the fantasy creatures that Miyazaki comes up with, uh, and I find his I find his work to be very wholesome, uh, based off of this film and uh, Spirited Away. I do highly recommend his work. Uh, I love when a writer uh, and or director has their own unique style and Miyazaki has his own for sure. Uh, as of now, My Neighbor Totoro is number 172 on IMDb's top 250 list. And if you are a fan of animated movies, you should definitely check this one out because it's really good. And I love I love the wholesomeness of it. And the art's just, the art's just gorgeous. Uh, you can find My Neighbor Totoro on HBO Max. And the second film I saw this past week was a very special one because it marks my 1000th movie. And that is 1998's Following. A young writer who follows strangers for material meets a thief who takes him under his wing. Rated R with a runtime of one hour and nine minutes. Now I'm happy to say that my 1000th movie was a Christopher Nolan movie, uh, who is my favorite director. And not only was it one of Christopher Nolan's movies, but it was the only one I haven't seen so far. And it was also his first feature film. Uh, it's been on my list for a while. I've been, I've been putting, I've been holding that for my 1000th for a while. Now, I think Following is a solid thriller that just shows you all the potential that Christopher Nolan has and where he's going to go in the future. Uh, I think the coolest thing about this film has to be the facts that surround it, the little fun facts that surround it. So one big one that I think is awesome is the whole budget for following was $6,000, uh, which makes it the one of the least expensive feature films in history. Uh, the whole film is shot almost entirely uh, handheld with a single camera. And finally, the principal photography of this film took over, uh, over one year because all the cast and crew had full-time jobs. So they would just pick a weekend and, uh, film a little bit on a Saturday. Now, I think the reason I really love these films, uh, I really love these, uh, facts about this film is just that it shows you don't need a huge cast of A-listers. You don't need millions of dollars like some of these superhero movies that you get. You got the, they got the huge cast and the, all the money. But sometimes a group of nobodies, a low budget film, They're better than these big Hollywood things that we see today. And I really love it because I think it just shows, it shows that all you need is a good story, really. In a good story, you need people who just work hard. And if you surround yourself with those people, you can make these beautiful things, uh, these beautiful artistic things. Uh, now, as of now, the following is on Tubi and AMC+. Plus. I recommend it to anybody who likes thrillers and all that. And of course, if you love Nolan, as I do. I also want to thank everybody who's followed me on this journey of the last 50 movie uh, reviews that I've made. I didn't, I know they're not really in depth, but that's kind of where I wanted to keep it. I want to do a little broad uh, review of the film, kind of just say, hey, is this worth watching? This is what it's about. Uh, this is the time. Maybe this is a little fun fact about it. 
uh, where you can watch it. I just want to keep it nice and short like that. Uh, if y'all want, y'all can put in the comments what, if you have seen one of the films that I've gone over, uh, you can put in the comments uh, which one was your favorite. And if you have any other movie recommendations, I would love to hear them. And don't know if I'm going to be as consistent with the movie reviews. I might take a little break. Uh, but we'll see. Thanks again. Bye.